Welcome back, friends. We're going on a hunting journey with Sir Hans Capon. Because we've been obliged to, too. Hey there. Uh, about Here hunting. I'm overjoyed. Have you got <laughs> a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Um, <laughs> well, let's, could I borrow a horse, maybe? But sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Ah, <sighs> well, all right. Would there be a horse? Come on, is there no horse we could steal? I would totally steal a horse now. <laughs> but there's no horse we are even allowed to steal. Like a good dog. Hey dog. It seems like we have more in common than this guy and us. I've been looking so forward to this, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Ow! Hey. Hey. Let's go! Yeah! Hurry up, blacksmith! My God. <sighs> Already hurt. That's how you do as a blacksmith's son. And you get into the noble's business. Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Well, that's good. At least he's like that. At least it's like that. Yeah. That's a little better. Oh, wait. Hey, Sir Hans, wait. We, we just had this wonderful chamomile here. You should try a tea someday. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. Oh and my if god. If you cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. Hey, we were totally good with that pitchfork. How did you know, by the way? And it's Easter. It's Easter time. A marigold. So Hans! <laughs> wait! Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ooh! Stepping into that horse shit, nearly. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to ask you about scallops. Oh, better not ask. If, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scalets and um, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. 
I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Oh. And we're hurrying. Very quickly. So, in the north we are. Ah, uh, wait. Where are we? Here, okay. Oh, butterflies. Hey, dog. How do you... Oh, that's prepared for us. Oh, that's exceptional. Look, there's a bunny, even. And some lepiota. Ooh. And there's even more of them. Look at that. Mmm. They taste great. They taste... The wine and the bacon from the saddlebag. Okay, okay. We're a peasant now. I, we're a minion now. We understand. Okay. Bacon and wine. <sighs> Mr. Hans. Okay, let's let's eat something. Coming up, sir. At long last. Oh, come on. That wasn't so long. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. Yeah, that's... That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. Yeah, it seems like we're kind of connecting here so he might not be that as we first thought hmm what do you do with your time if then I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day when i was little i was awfully bored i can tell you there was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. You have it hard. <laughs> I don't know, but it could be interesting. Maybe we can show him the view of the common people. We're a daydreamer. We think such things. Um... What about your parents? Why are you there all alone? How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Yeah. Just mm. so. Actually, I have no experience hunting. I'm not sure I'll be able. Don't worry, I don't expect much of you. Just avoid getting in my way and collect what I shoot. But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scalitz. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. 
All right. All right. He's told us a lot. We'll, to we'll tell him too. I didn't have time to count them. Um, could exonerate us, um, actually, would we talk very passionately and very, yeah, it was a miracle I escaped. That's what, what we uh, would say as a daydreamer. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbors and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. We should wait until dawn. Will we do that? No, come on. We can cook some stuff. We could eat from the pot, but... Nah. No. What do we either? What's in there, by the way? There's some stuff we could take. Hunting arrows, a villager's ash bow, a sea axe. What is a sea axe? A hunting sword. Serve to finish off prey and butcher the carcass. Just that way. Hmm? It's not bad. And that thing? Uh huh. What's in our inventory? We've got also that villager's ash bowl, so we don't need that. Let's go for some hunting arrows. If they're lying here freely, we would probably take that. Some dried meat or dried fruit. Yeah, let's go for some dried fruit. And the sea axe is actually pretty interesting. Stab slash blunt. It's a much better weapon. And what we have, like that bludgeon. 31 blunt, 2 slash, 2 stab. That's really bad. Primitive weapon. Put that away and actually equip the CX. Ah. Equip it too. What else is here? We're like in, in nowhere. In nowhere land we are. So you're eating, Sir Hans. Can we can we talk again? Is there Greetings. anything? What business have you? What business? Another thing. Sir. Not now, blacksmith. Keep it for morning. All right. He just wants to relax and eat. Okay, okay. So we could sleep here. There's some wine bottle. Actually, we want to have a look around, right? And how late is it anyways? Well, it's actually pretty late. But maybe... We could try ourselves with that bow. Is there some rabbits or something? Isn't that one here? A rabbit? Um, now. A 
Oh, we can't shoot yet. All right. Could we collect mushrooms? We could. What's that? That looks... Oh, yeah, that's, that's the normal sage. So we're not allowed to hunt, so we cannot hunt. But we can have a look down here. What's going on? What is that? Is that... Oh, that's... There must be beavers around here. And that thing... Could we collect that? It looks interesting. Could we hunt beavers here? Oh, a nice stream. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so peaceful out here. But what... Okay. A bridge. Oh, look at that. It's your end, rabbit! Um, where is he? It's your end, rabbit! Uh, rabbit's too quick for us. And we wanted to try hunting. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't. What's glowing here? Is that gold? That looked like gold. Oh. Beautiful. I do. Where was Sir Hans? Wasn't he up there? Hmm. Are we on the right track? Or not? Hello? Hi? Ooh. Are there wolves here? Can you hear that? There were some people shouting. Over there, I guess. Is it safe in these woods, by the way? Hmm. Look at that, it's, it's getting darker. There's tons of rabbits. Are we hungry now? Not really. We should eat, though. Hey, Hans, are you already sleeping? Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. <laughs> I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. <laughs> Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah well the little teases we can have actually we were pretty lucky there but yeah <laughs> actually let's eat something I'll be pretty full for that but 
What can you do, right? What can you do? And let's tune out with a little bit of the codex. Hmm. Hunting. There we go. Hunting was always a source of meat and furs, mainly for the lesser nobility. For the aristocracy, courtly hunting was more for enjoyment, being much cheaper entertainment. Yeah, look at that. They're actually shooting rabbits. Being much cheaper entertainment than tournaments while providing similar thrills. Hunting became a favorite pastime and chasing game with dogs became almost a ritual. Hunting weapons were similar to those used in battle. Bows, crossbows, spears, daggers. Dogs were used to track and chase down game until the exhausted animal stood its ground in last defense. Then came the moment for the hunters. Up till then only following the sound of the baying hounds to down the animal with an arrow or spear. Finishing off on the ground was done with a sword or a dagger, or with that CX we have. And falconry, hunting with a falcon originating in the Orient and other specifically trained raptors like goshawks and sparrowhawks, was more of a fashion, a pursuit for both men and women. The poorer classes were not allowed to hunt in the forest, subject to strict penalties, with the exception of hare hunting. All right. Thank you for watching, and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode when we make our way back to Hans, who is then probably freshly awake. Oh, that, that's a, a cave mushroom, really. I'm going to pick that up. And sleep now. A good night. Good night, friends.